Welcome to the Reduce Cyber Risk CISSP exam questions, episode 11, domain three, security architecture and engineering. Hey all, I'm Sean Gerber again with Reduce Cyber Risk, and these are my part of my CISSP questions that I provide through my training that you can get at udemy.com or you can find on reducecyberrisk.com as well. And so the, the purpose of this is to provide you the questions and understandings around taking the CISSP exam and the questions that are, are associated with it. All right, so let's get started. First off is the presentation layer. So this is again as part of the OSI seven layer burrito, which is the OSI seven layer model. The presentation layer, layer six of the seven layer burrito is responsible for which of the following? A, formatting of video documents. B, responsible for transforming the application layer into something other for other OSI models. C, add routing and addressing information. Or D, none of the above. Again, the presentation layer is responsible for which of the following? Formatting the video, documents, etc. Responsible for transforming the application layer into something other than the OSI model. Or C, add routing and addressing information. Or D, none of the above. And the answer is A, formatting the video documents, etc. The, the presentation layer is responsible for formatting and delivering of the information to the application layer for further processing and or display. So that's the purpose of it. It presents it, it gets it ready to go. It, re it basically relieves the application layer for, to, of concerning regarding syntactical differences in data representation with the end user systems. It's a big $10 word there, but basically what it comes right down to is, is it, it formats the documents and gets them ready to go for the application. That's the purpose of it. Again, the presentation layer, layer six, is responsible for formatting of video documents, etc. Now the application layer. The application layer, layer seven, is responsible for which one of the following? A, formatting of video documents, etc., which we talked about earlier. B, establishing, maintaining, and terminating communication sessions. C, creation of transport protocols. D, interfacing with applications, networks, and operating systems. So again, this comes down to the test. You gotta pick out which ones are the ones that don't, are one of these things is not like the other. And A, we just talked about, so that could probably get rid of that one. But application layer, layer seven, is responsible for which of the following? A, formatting video documents, etc. Establishing, maintaining, and terminating communication sessions. Creation of transport protocols, which is C. And then D, interfacing with applications, network, and operating systems. So based on the application layer, the answer is D, interfacing with applications, network, and operating systems. That's the answer. The application layer, is, as the user interface, is responsible for displaying and receiving information to the user, i.e. the application, right? In contrast, the IPS, the Internet Protocol Suite, does not concern itself with such detail. So that's why the OSI also explicitly distinguishes additional functionality below the application layer, but just above the transport layer to, at two additional levels, the session and the presentation layer. Bottom line is the application layer is what provides the, the video presentation and uh, what you're trying to do, your representation of the application. That's the purpose of it. All right, TCP header flags. Okay, what do we got here? This is interesting. We've now moved on beyond the seven layer burrito. The following are TCP header flags. A, run, ACK, fin, reset. Okay, so that's what they are. Now, if you're looking at the screen, you'll see the abbreviations for them, like ACK is ACK, -A -C -K, Alpha, Charlie, Kilo. Fin is uh, Foxtrot, India, November, and reset is Romeo, Sierra, Tango. So again, but... We won't get into all the acronyms because you'll just your head will swim. But A, it's run, act, fin, reset. B is urgent, reset, fin, push. C is expedite, run, act, fin. D is sin, expedite, run, fin. Yeah, see, if you're listening to this going, what the dickens is all that about? Again, the following are TCP header flags. Run, act, fin, reset. Urgent, reset, fin, push. Uh, C is expedite run ac fin, D is sin expedite run fin. Sin like sin that sin, 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 Can't even think of what I'm trying to say. Sin, yeah, I can't even say it. So guess what? That ain't it. 
<laughs> it's not D. Answer is B. Uh, urgent reset fin push. TCP is one of the main protocols of the internet protocol suite. Okay, so yeah, obviously you need to understand those. And this originated with the initial network implementation in which it complemented the IP, so in internet protocol. Uh, therefore, the entire suite is commonly referred to as TCP IP. And in the TCP header flags, urgent reset fin and push are header flags for TCP. Okay, so as you see, this comes uh, from my CISSP training that is available to you on Udemy. It also comes from wikipedia.com. You can check that out. Uh, but again, my name is Sean, S-H-O-N Gerber, and you can check it out at udemy.com. I highly recommend you go to Udemy. If you want CISSP training, you will find it there. And I can guarantee you, you will not find it at a better price than you will find at Udemy, especially as you look for what my training can provide you. It is amazing. And I don't say that just because I made it. But it's, it's it actually you consider it it's, it's pretty darn good in comparison to uh, what you would pay if you went to a boot camp or someplace like that. So it's a great way to augment and supplement your training as you're studying for the CISSP. And for the most part, that you to me almost giving it away. They really are. It's really, really reasonable. Uh, so go check that out at udemy.com. Type in Sean, S-H-O-N Gerber or CISSP certification under my name and you will find it. Also, you can go to ReduceCyberRisk.com forward slash CISSP dash training. That's ReduceCyberRisk.com CISSP dash training. And you will be able to find, get links to Udemy.com where my CISSP training is currently being housed. All right. I hope you had a great day and we'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.